Hi everyone. My name is Dr. Rajan. Very fond of Sony camera systems and I have purchased FX30. Works really very nice. I have been developing a lot of gadgets for uh, FX30 system. So instantly I upgraded my firmware to 5 and I am so happy to uh, have my setting for the shutter in shutter angle and also for monitoring using the mobile phone using wired version instantly we have a problem in the wiring version many people are using the dummy batteries or keeping the battery life for a long time instantly uh, many complain that it fries off the electronics inside so uh, most of the people are willing to go in for the USB-C charging provided onto the camera. The real problem is what? When you connect it, when you connect the power to the USB-C, then you don't have any choice of connecting your wired monitoring. So what should you do? Today I just found out a method using USB-C hub. It really works very well. I'm going to show you how I just connected and bring it up to life. This is my FX3 camera setup. I just connected um, an adapter for the mobile. I'm just going to connect the mobile and also uh, this is the USB, the, the power bank PD which I'm going to use for the supply. And finally, this is the USB hub I'm going to use. This has got an input USB C and then you've got two ports. One is the USB A with the three and the other one is PD USB C. So these are the things I'm going to connect and bring up to the life. So here is my setup, sir. This is the USB hub I was referring to. This has got three ports. I'll show you USB C port as a blue or orange color uh, divider inside. Okay, that is the one you need to connect it to the camera. Let me open the camera for you. And secondly, I need to connect the main USB input into my mobile. Right? And then connect the USB power to the power bank. So all these are done. Now let me show you. I'm going to open. Here is a small hand sketch which shows how to connect these gadgets through the USB hub. Okay, just have a look at it. Camera connected to USB and then to PD and then to monitor and that's it. Monitor and control anyway before uh, yeah when you are just doing please ensure you are on the remote shooting okay and then whatever you want to do you just do okay just remove my lens okay I'm going to monitor and control it is asking for permissions i got it then through usb i'm just trying to connect yes you are done you are up and done. Look at now who are all getting power. Number one, the guy, the camera is getting power. You just see a small, uh, you know, power connection close by. Yeah, that's an indication for an external power connected. And also, look at my mobile. And that mobile is also getting power, say it's getting charged. So like you can do wonders with this, okay, this is a setup, you can always have it. Where, wherever you want to go, just take a power bank with you and the USB hub and get them properly wired and you are up and running, get rid of the monitor. And also the beauty is you can do what is called the streaming, okay, let me show you how it is. I am once again connecting it 
so now i'm just connecting an access to this and i'm just connecting it the menu appears here and it is asking for a couple of things i'm just moving to live stream okay and whatever is the thing okay i'm just saying okay outputs and all the things okay now same thing i'm going to accept on to the yes now you are up and running on the live mode connect this to whatever like your facebook or insta whatever and you are you are done but slowly so basically the setup is like this camera usb c the usb hub and the monitor and control app from sony and the mobile phone all are working in sync okay so thank you very much for watching my channel if you like this please press the thumbs up okay i'll be happy to share much more videos for you thank you